Hi guys, Vex here. Welcome back to Fallout 4. And on today's episode, we'll be wrapping up, oh, maybe wrapping up, I don't know, tying up some, some of the loose ends from the Institute. Uh, the first thing I want to go do, though, is go into here, into Virgil's laboratory, and give this poor guy the serum that I promised him quite some time ago. Uh, Virgil, I have something for you, buddy. Hey! Well, I'm glad to see the relay didn't completely vaporize you. <laughs> it did, but I pulled myself together. <laughs> I suppose you did. Now, what about the serum? Did you find it? Got it right here. That's it. That's really it! Alright. Let's see. Let's see. Retrovirus has matured nicely. Density gradient is high. Recombinant counter intron sequences look stable. Transcriptive exon strands have formed. <laughs> has the, uh, reverse transcriptase survived the nucleotide synthesis? Excellent question. Yes. Yes, it has. <laughs> oh. Did you mean that as a joke? Uh, well, it's time. I was wondering if I just, like, get something right. Test it. All right. Here we go. That's it. What? Did you expect me to transform right before your eyes? This is science, not a two-cap magic show. I'm going to rest for a while. I'm back in a few days, maybe a week, and... Well, I guess we'll see. In any event, you kept your end of our bargain. Thank you. We just have to wait. Well, all right then. Let's see what happens. I sure. guess I will go dick around for a while. I'm pretty good at doing that. Uh, why don't we go tell the people back at the Brotherhood the good news that our mission was a success? Damn, this area is cool. I really like this area of the game. It's like glowing fungus. Oh, I love glowing fungus. It's great. I wonder if there'll be any uh, legendary enemies roaming around here that I could fight. Got my trusty shotgun here. It's a plasma shotgun now. I really like the ambience of this place. This is really cool. It really reminds me of Command and Conquer 2. Where the ti uh, Tiberium has grown more and it's formed like wastelands and stuff. That was a good game. I really wish Westwood hadn't been shut down by EA. I would have liked to have seen what Command & Conquer, that franchise, would have been without EA mucking it up. Man, it's so desolate out here. I love it. Ugh. Oh, man. 
in an open world game, that's something you never really want to see. You can't go that way. What if I want to go that way? Maybe that's why I like Seven Days to Die so much. It really gives you a huge open world to explore. It's pretty cool. Ooh, there's something. Oh, it's one of those. I don't want to fight that. They, these are poopy and I don't like them. And I also... They're hard to hit, too. And they have the most annoying attack patterns, too. Like, they move off to your side, and then... And they just try to be... just They just be annoying and fly around. I mean, I guess I shouldn't complain that much. It's good to have en enemy diversity, and diversity of enemy behavior. Is my HP still dropping slowly? I can't quite tell. It looks like the needle's moving, but... I think the needle just kind of moves. wiggles a little bit. I just do it. I discovered something. What is what the hell's this? Sentinel site, huh? What is a sentinel? Is that a missile silo, maybe? Ah, this has got to be a missile silo, I bet. What are oh, man. Is that what I think it is? Huh? <laughs> Radioactive. Radioactive. Alright. Sentinel Site Prescott. Yeah, Sentinels must be um, a missile, I guess, right? Wow. I wonder what, uh, what's my, how's my weight doing? I got some, I could take some loot from here. Oh, shit. That is a big drop. Maybe I'll go check out the office. Let's see, what's in here? I'd like to find some sort of record as to what happened to this place. Other than the apocalypse, I mean, specifically. Maybe shut the alarm off? Maybe? I mean, I'm sure you guys love hearing about, uh... Oh, plus five rad resist. That's cool. Oh, okay. Blast door override, huh? You, uh... Ah, oh, damn it, no! I was trying to move the, the dead body. I, I, no, I do not want to get out of my power armor here. This place is icky. Let me back in here. I wonder if I can pee in this thing or not. So how do I... I'm trying to remember the button to, like, pick up... Was it... That? How do you pick something up? I don't remember... <laughs> Alright, whatever. Like, can I lift this pencil up with... I'm using a 360 controller and I don't remember the... No, it's not that. 
Is it hold down? Ah, it's hold down A. That's it. Let's see what's on this terminal. So this dude apparently was trapped in here, I guess? Couldn't get out? Sucks for him. So what the hell happened here? Is there a missile launch? Yeah, there must be. It must have been. It's probably housed right here on this this big pad. We're not alone. Desk fans. Oh, should I have taken that holotape back out? And popped it open? Uh, I mean, it's in one of the computers, but does that work with... Wait, no. Uh, I guess the holotape's ejected, huh? I hear something running around down there. A oh, hairbrush. I don't really think I need a hairbrush for anything. Another dead scientist. Wow, the floor's caved out here. Alright, before I pop that door open, what was that? No, oh, I don't need that stuff. Why was there a stingwing barb inside the filing cabinet? Huh. Oh, come on, baby, open up for me. You know you want to. There you go. Got it. Uh, yeah, I'll take all that. Um, little laboratory here, a chemistry... Oh, actually a functional chemistry station. <laughs> I find it weird that I can't use my power armor to muscle down obstacles and stuff. Is there anything in there that I'd actually like? I see a telephone. I see like a... I mean, not really. Oh, shit! Wait, you hold melee to throw? Is that it? No. Yeah, that's a bit weird that I can't smash down a door in power armor. But, you know, it's... I'm sure the series will eventually have something like that. Uh... I'm not... I'm here mostly out of curiosity, not so much to loot everything. 
Uh, what is this? That uh, looks like a big generator. Um, we're going down deeper. Holes in the wall. Window here. I guess I'll run back up real fast and pop that door open. Because it looks like this is actually the way in which to uh, continue down more. It looks like I could maybe get in that room if I went in here. And I'm detected? What am I detected by? Now I'm hidden again. Yeah, it looks like maybe you could have slipped down in here. But, no. Well, whatever it is doesn't come up on my targeting. Wait, do I have to load the holotape every single time? Yeah, I do. Okay. Well, there's nobody in this one, at least. There's a hairbrush, an ashtray. First aid supplies. Let's see what's on this terminal. That's it. So there's a crap load of nukes down in here. This one walks out onto the main floor, where the enemies were. And then what's back up here? Ah, the bottom of the elevator. Right. Just some loot. Is there anything good in the in here? No, the elevator's dead. Okay, we're going this way now, and I realize I realize that I am getting completely and totally sidetracked from going to turn my quest in, but I'm really curious what's down here. So my suspicions at this point are obviously correct. This is indeed a missile silo. And it probably explains why this area was hit. Being home to a launching facility, it would be on the enemy's uh, you know, targeting list of someplace to nuke. I hear a ghoul. Up. What is this? What's this on the wall? You down here? Oh, that's what I was hearing. The rat. So... I don't see anything super notable just looking around here. Uh... There's these things, the warheads. There's a... looks like a secret entrance here. Oh, this is the room that I couldn't get in earlier. <gasps> ah! Aha! 
copy of the Boston Bugle. A child of Adam. So it looks like they were coming in here, I assume, to maybe loot the place? Or whatever it is they do. That's it. I'm, I'm a bit disappointed with that loot. Oh well. Um. Hmm. How did all the blast doors get sealed back up if he came down here? And how did the blast door... Ah, uh, Bethesda, you fucked up. So, this child of Adam got in here, came down here, died. After this place had gotten sealed up, but then the blast door holotape, which is necessary to get down... Well, is it? Could he have just jumped down here from the... Maybe gotten on a rope and slid down the elevator? No, there was a door there, wasn't there? I guess just roped down from the scaffolding up above. Okay, maybe that's how he did it. Oh, wow. Maybe I should shoot this. What do you guys think? I don't know. Seems like it might be a bad idea. That's collapsed. There's so many of these nuclear warheads. Good god. That is, uh, that's a bit intimidating. It's feral ghouls. And what else is down here? Another way back up. And then, looks like there's something over here. Ah. Oh, that's. Ugh. Just die. I hate enemies that get, like, right up underneath my feet. Because in real life, it'd be very quite easy to aim down, but in the video game, it's, it's a bit more awkward. Especially, I guess, especially with a controller. Like, take the left stick and just jerk it down. I'm not nearly as fast as, you know, I would be, say, in real life, for example. I didn't want to take his rags. Why did I take his rags? I'm just used to looting everything. I wonder if there's a vault down here or something. That's a shitload of ghouls. Chance to stagger on hit. Meh. Meh. Is what I say to that? Probably heal up. Um, carrots, death claw meat, Nuka Cola. Mmm, Cola. I'd probably be addicted to Nuka Cola if I lived in the Fallout universe. I don't know, except for the part where it gives you radiation. Like, I already had to research aspartame a crap load before I felt safe drinking it. And when I found that it's actually been researched by a lot of people and deemed safe by lots of different people, which made me feel better about drinking it. Because uh, I don't, as you guys might know, I don't really drink many drinks that have calories in them anymore. I'll drink, um, water, well, water, juice, tea, and, uh, zero calorie, uh, zero calorie sodas. And this lock is being difficult. Don't you want me inside you? Come on. Don't be like that, baby. You know you want it. Let Vex have his way with you. Sweet. Yeah, sweet. Uh, I 
but yeah, if you if you if you type like aspartame uh, in Google, you'll find all these like uh, conspiracy websites. But uh, but usually it's 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 like if you notice. Um, it's kind of funny. Like, the website will tell you that aspartame's horrible, and it's a toxin. And then at the bottom, they'll try to sell you health crap. And it's... It's it's very obvious uh, that, I mean, they're just trying to scare you into buying their shit. Clear? Clear, I think. What's this? Lunch pail. Mongrel dog meat, huh? Man, this place is a lot bigger than I thought. Like, this place is huge. Like, where am I going? Seriously, where am I going? Okay. Damn it, Bethesda. I almost wish the dungeons were more linear. Like, I hate the feeling of, like... Feeling like I have to go back. No. Oh. Stay down. Don't get up. Don't get up on account of me, at least. Which one of you is actually dead? You're not dead. Are you dead? You seem to be dead. Oh, you're not dead. Hey, maybe if I kill enough of these dudes, I'll level up, huh? So, is there anything important in here, or is it just monsters? And loot. Not that I'm complaining about monsters and loot or anything. I would never complain about that. I'm just... Don't mind me, I'm just thinking out loud. Yeah, for one month, uh, there was a month that I made myself just drink, basically... I just drank water and nothing else. So no sodas or anything, no caffeine. Because I was going to see if I felt any different. Any healthier, I guess. And I felt no difference whatsoever. Drinking water for a month straight. And cutting out, like, everything else. So, I don't know. I mean, as far as the sodas go. I mean, brush your teeth. Watch your calorie intake. And I, I think it's fine, right? I think I think that the actual zero calorie sodas might be better for your teeth because is this a way out? Oh holy shit! I think it might be. I should probably get out of the elevator well, huh? But um, the logic being that the oh hi. He had an oven mitt on him. That's that amuses me. Uh, the logic being that uh, in soda has lots of natural sugar, and the bacteria in your mouth grow grow like crazy after the residue is in your mouth. But the zero calorie sweeteners they can't metabolize, just like your body can't metabolize it, which is why it's zero calorie, and so they don't grow. I don't know if that's true or not, but it would make sense to me. I guess that was the boss, huh? So we never really found out uh, much of a story of this place, I don't think. Yep, that's it. 
Interesting. And we're back out here. So... And this is sealed up? Oh no, it's not sealed up. Oh, but is this... Can we not get up here normally? Ah, here we go. We can't get up here normally. Interesting. Alright. So, it was a nuclear launch silo, and it... What happened to it? Oh, you could get up there with a jetpack, I guess. You would just have to know to go over there. Oh, damn it not, you assholes. They're so annoying. Look at their attack pattern. Am I poisoned? No, I don't think I'm poisoned. I should probably take some stems though. Red Widow Blood Bugs. I know I hit one of these little shits in the face with a shotgun blast and it didn't go down. Bethesda... I feel like I'm shooting cotton candy out of my gun sometimes. Like, seriously? I really do. Whew! Well, that was fun. Alright, I'm going to take a break here and go get some food, I think. And I'll see you guys next episode. Until then, as always, take it easy.